Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Young here and welcome to a Metal Gear Solid 5 news update. Hideo Kojima has recently revealed some new information about the upcoming game through numerous tweets, particularly concerning CQC. The barrage of tweets begins with the following. In my next game, things will be for real. No wall smash. For those who don't know, what he's referring to is the mechanic introduced in Peace Walker which allows players to CQC enemies and throw them onto walls, creating a rather comical and exaggerated effect. Very manga-like, as Kojima puts it in his following tweet, but in Metal Gear Solid 5, the interaction between CQC and walls will be much more realistic, especially since the game is going for a darker and realistic feel compared to past games. Then he proceeds to tweet that when he first proposed wall smashing during the development of Peace Walker, his staff didn't really like the idea. Kojima didn't budge, however, saying that his intention was to bring the real thrill of CQC for teenagers. I'm not gonna lie, I personally found a certain satisfaction out of smashing people into the wall. I personally thought there was nothing wrong with a mechanic for a game like Peace Walker. Obviously, it would raise an eyebrow or two if the unrealistic wall smashing returned in Metal Gear Solid 5, which is going more for a realistic approach, which is why Kojima is avoiding it this time. Instead, he'll likely replace it with movements that real soldiers would use. I'm looking forward to see how CQC evolves in this game, and I'm already loving the fact that the mechanic will be interacting with environmental objects like walls. Then Kojima moves away from CQC to confirm that there will be crawling in his next MGS. I don't think that really needed confirmation. We've already seen this mechanic in the trailer, and it's a staple of the Metal Gear Solid franchise, but cool. In the next tweet, he posts something really interesting, saying that there will not be a cautious advance like in Metal Gear Solid 4. By cautious advance, I'm assuming he means the caution alert mode found in various Metal Gear Solid games, not just 4. Caution mode is activated after alert and evasion cooldown, and also when guards spot evidence of Snake's presence, like dead bodies or missed bullets shot nearby. This caution mode to me seems like a vital aspect of the game, so I don't quite understand why Kojima would be removing the caution mode from the game. I'm sure there's a reason. After all, a lot is changing in this new entry. Everything from minor details like the use of Roman numerals in the title, to big things like new gameplay mechanics and even the recasting of Snake. Now, it is also possible that I may be misinterpreting the term cautious advance, so if you guys have any other suggestions, be sure to let our nation know in the comments below. Then Kojima takes us back to CQC, reiterating that players can steal weapons from enemies, as shown in the E3 trailer. He explains in a later tweet that since weapons are no longer restricted by ID, like in the lore's future settings, Snake will be able to use any weapon available without restraint. In other words, players will no longer be restricted to picking up weapons by finding them in giant floating boxes, or by having to launder them through some dude with some coke-addicted monkey. And finally, Kojima tweets that there will be an online mode. By online mode, I'm assuming he is referring to Metal Gear Online, which has already been confirmed before through a variety of sources, but it's still good to finally get confirmation from the man himself. There has also been talk about the single player mode and multiplayer mode being tightly interwoven, but unfortunately that hasn't been given much detail. Before I take my leave, I would like to show you a couple of pictures that Kojima uploaded himself during a motion capture session. While Kojima could just be screwing around, I am certain that he'll actually be 3D scanned into the game. Why, you ask? Because it's already been done with another staff member. During this particular scene, the man Snake is taking the gun from has been confirmed to be a 3D scanned version of Ludwig Forsell, the game's music composer, so I would be surprised if I didn't see Kojima himself 3D scanned in the game somewhere, especially when you consider that you could recruit him to join MSF in Peace Walker. And with that, I will end this new segment for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. To be further updated on Metal Gear Solid 5, be sure to join the nation and subscribe to Young Gear. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much, and Young out.